You're listening to Six Towns Radio. But we're still looking to do some business if we can. And we always tend to do our business at the back end of the transfer window um, rather than before. We are playing, you know, in one of the toughest leagues in, in the world and we can't get complacent. So hopefully next week, next 10 days, we'll be able to wheel and deal and get a few in. The big test this year will be our home support and how much the supporters, you know, get behind us. They've been absolutely wonderful, so we don't need them to get complacent. I think they have a responsibility, the same as us, as a football team, to, to really be on the edge because you need to be on the edge week in, week out. You know, we, uh, we are what we are and, um, you know, we, we do well because of our supporters at home. There's no question. I think you've seen the Olympics and it was a fantastic occasion. Uh, what was it, 16, 17 days it was on, you know, and the support for our athletes, whether it was, you know, whether they were sat on their backsides, swimming or running, was absolutely amazing. And that took them onto what they achieved because of the support of the British public. And we've had that at Stoke for five and a half, five and a half years, six and a half years. We need to maintain that and keep that. And like I say, you know, you almost, you're in the noise at the stadium, you almost thought you were at the Britannia. Our own games against the likes of Arsenal. We've had tough starts, but I think this is most probably the toughest start we've had. And um, no, it, you have to accept, you know, there's going to be a run of fixtures, a run of games that you, you know that you, you look at and you think, well, where's the points going to come from from there? So, you know, like I say, the opening game away to a newly promoted team—that's what nobody wants. I've got, you know, I've got to be honest. Just, you know, I'd rather go away to one of the top sides. Um, because everything you know is fresh and new, the supporters are up for it, as we found, and you know it is really, really difficult. Um, but we'll go there and we'll give it our best. As a football club, you know we, we are trying behind the scenes to, to, you know, to put stuff in place for the next 10, 15 years, and that, that costs money. You just don't. It just doesn't grow on trees. It costs money. It's been a really busy, busy summer in lots of respects. Um, absolute top, top draw event. I think the country can be proud of it, the people who put it in place can be really, really proud of it. Um, I do get very, very frustrated and annoyed when I see the, the you know, the, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Those idiots. <laughs> no. No. Critics. Um, no. Not the cynics. Journalists. No. <laughs> No, I can't, I'll cut you there. Let me, let me I was going to slaughter someone. I don't know who I was going to slaughter, and I'll leave it because I use the word idiot. Yeah. Tony, Premier League manager, uh, charity bike rider, and of course, Olympic torchbearer, which is the toughest. You struggle with the torch. torch yeah, the, it was, the, it was the, hard, wasn't it? Torch, it was the torch was hard because I'd broken my arm and they wanted me to carry it in my right arm, so to, to carry it that day up that hill. <laughs> nah, nah. Managing, managing Stoke is tough. You know, it's a tough club to manage, but it's a great club. One quick question from uh, all of Six Towns Raiders. We asked them, what question would you ask if you could meet Tony Pulis? And they all said, uh, who would be in Tony Pulis's fantasy league team this season? What, the 11? Yeah, basically. Oh, well, give us a few points. <laughs> yeah. a few points. Give me, well, who are going to be the stars? Who, who, well, it will be the stars. I think you pick the top five teams and then pick your players out of them. They're... They'll be the ones. I don't know how to play that fantasy football. I do it in reality, so <laughs> I'm not into the fantasy stuff. You're into the real stuff. Of course. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Thanks, Dan.